गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग हाय गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग सर हाउ इज एवरीवन डूइंग टुडे गुड Yes. I've been really hearing positive messages about class six C. Yeah, uh, Dee always uh, tells me that this is the best class uh, she's ever been in. Huh? That's kudos to all the girls and boys in this. Huh? Very good. Good. A very refreshing good morning and a warm welcome. A warm welcome to our respected Simi Ma'am, Sita Ma'am, Simi Ma'am, and my dear friends today. The middle school team of Class Six C cordially invites G. Venkata Rama Reddy Sir to conduct a workshop on career counselling and developing leadership qualities. Mr. G. Venkata Rama Sir is a professional in energy, oil, and gas industry. He is a global category manager who is expertised in procurement and supply chain. It is a privilege to have you here today, Sir. Once again, I will welcome you to the session. Thank you, sir. The platform is all yours, and we are eagerly waiting to hear you. Shwetmika, thank you for your kind words. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, um, uh, Ananya, ma'am, can you yes. uh, make me a presenter? I have in a slide pack. I would like to share if that's okay. Okay, sir. Just give me a second. Oh. I just try. I think, yeah. Okay. Just a second. Yeah. Just you can just uh, raise your. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Yes. Yes, I'm done it. Great. So I'm just going to share my screen, and someone can confirm when you can see it, please. Yes, sir. We can see it. Children, can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, sir. We can see it. Yes. Very good. And am I clear, audible? Yes, yes sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Good. So first of all, uh, thank you to uh, Gopalan International School for giving me this opportunity to speak to Class Six C today. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, so let's kick in. You know, the uh, brief that I've been given is to discuss about career and leadership qualities. So we'll just uh, have uh, make this uh, section uh, very interactive. So you know, I request all the children to participate. Uh, so if you have any questions at any time, please feel uh, free to ask. But I will try to make sure at the end we have. at least 10 minutes for question and answers uh, so that we can have more of an interactive session right so let's kick start you know by and please come out of mute so i would like to hear your thoughts you know if anyone is willing to forthcome and share your thoughts on what comes to your mind you know when we say career anyone would like to share their thoughts uh can i yes please go ahead Uh, so my name is Shruti, and when I think of career, what comes to my mind is so when you think of a career, you have two options. Uh, some sometimes it comes three, but your main two options would be something you like or something that's going to um give you enough to make a living. You do have an like if you if you like what you if you know what you like, you do have. a few options that give both where you get money as well and you enjoy your career so that option is something that i feel most people would be looking for good and otherwise i think we should go for what we like instead of what uh what like comes it. with the career yes. I'm I'm really happy that you are very clear in terms of that. So very good. Anyone else would like to uh, share their thoughts? Yes, children. No worries. If if you don't have at any time, please share. But I just uh, took some uh, words that came to my mind when I was a child. Uh, at probably at your age, and I try to recollect them, and I've just put them here. You know, um, obviously, you know, there was uh, uh, the first thing that came to my mind is, you know, my uh, parents wanted to me uh, uh, be to become a doctor or an engineer, for example, right? There are a few children I've spoken to. They said, you know, what I'd like to become an artist. There are a few children who says, you know, uh, some job that I'll do when I grow up. Uh, some say, I don't.
don't have an idea. I don't know what to do. And some says, you know, it's a job to make money and buy the things that I want. So one of your colleagues just uh, spoke about, uh, you know, doing a job to make money, right? So there are lots of things that can come to one's mind. But what I would recommend at uh, the age that you are and the class that you are in, stop for a minute. Before you answer that question, what comes to your mind, try to think about what career would be in a long term. So what I recommend is, you know, we, you in 6C, I'm sure, would have learned about evolutionary of uh, human beings, right? So think something similar and try to map out your lifespan on this planet. And typically, what does it look like, right? From birth to about finishing college, it takes about 22 years. You know, you you are a toddler, you grow into a teen, you go to college. Then comes the age typically between 22 to 65 years. And that is the age when most of us, we actually uh, have a career or an occupation, which is where we uh, go to a job, we do something we like, and that kind of makes us progress and earn money, right? So when you put it that way, if you see more than 40 years of our lifespan on this planet, right, is where we do a career or a job, right? So it's very important because it's a huge amount of time we're going to spend. So if one has to spend such a huge amount of time in an occupation or a career, we should be thinking about it, right? So what I did was, as we all use Google, I went to Google and I said, what is a career? And this is the definition that Google would give me. You know, try it out. So if you read that, it's an occupation undertaken for a significant period of a person's life, right? With opportunities for progress. And I've highlighted a significant period of person's life. So that is very, very important, right? Because we have to spend that amount of time either doing a job or in profession or whatever, however you want to call it. So what are the dilemmas? So you got to then train your mind to say, to say, what are my dilemmas? How do I choose a career, right? What is best for me? There's a commerce stream, there's an art stream, there's a science stream, there is, a, a, you know, design. There's a lot of new kind of opportunities have come. You know, when I was probably your age, there were many limited opportunities for us. Today, with the age of internet, computers, you know, uh, the sky is the limit. You can You can go and do whatever you want. But the question is, how do you go about doing it? You know, when, uh, uh, someone spoke earlier uh, and they mentioned you do something that you like. So today what I'll do is share some tips that I used when I was your age and how did I go about it? First thing, yeah, we all know Dora. So be yeah. like Dora and be an explorer and explore different types of careers out there. That is very important. Don't limit yourself to what you know or what your parents know or what your immediate friends know. Try to explore what types of careers are out there. Second important thing we all need to do is reflect. When I say reflect, it's self-reflection. And three questions are the questions that you need to ask yourself. One, what are you passionate about? Passion is something that you look forward to get up in the morning, right? So if there was cartoons on the TV, I'm sure you would wake up at 5, 5.30, right? If you want to go for a trekking, I'm sure you want to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, right? And it's a good movie on TV, you probably want to wake up uh, late and finish that. So that's passion. What drives you? What wakes you up from your bed every day? Second thing is, what are you really good at? How do you define good? What you enjoy doing it? What do you think you can uh, uh, do with conviction, confidence is something that you're good at. Try to understand that. Finally, try to understand what makes you happy, right? Because you've got to be happy. A happy human being and happy individual are the individuals who can progress and achieve a great deal, right? You don't want to be angry. You don't want to be bored. Whatever you do, you want to be very, very happy. So these are the three things that you need to really reflect. Then, once you do this, the last but not the least is talk to people. Again, talking is about confidence. It's about networking. It's about listening to what other people have, 
what their thoughts are. Don't go in and say, you know, I would like to be this. What's your uh, this thing? It's good to ask someone a question, but you can ask that in a different way, asking, hey, what do you think are career opportunities available? What do you think you want to become? Why do you be want to become so? Do you think these are the skill set the world requires from us in the 21st century, right? So these are the things that you need to explore. So who do you talk to, right? You talk to each other. You talk to your uh, uh, parents, you talk to your friends outside school, you talk to your teachers, right? So expand that network. Networking is very important to develop your career because it will give you the perspective from the other side. So these are some of the key things I would recommend you to do. And I'm just going to pause there and see if there are any questions or any other thoughts someone wants to say, we can do something else. Any thoughts? Okay, no thoughts, no worries. So now let's look at different type of carriers. I have some photographs there. Can people come out of mute and tell me if they recognize any of these carriers? Um, the first one is an astronaut. Astronaut. The second one is a doctor. doctor. The third is an architect or an engineer. Architect. Engineer. Then is a designer. Then is a lawyer. Then is a designer. And a sixth one. One by one. One by one. One by one. Sixth one is an engineer. Seventh one is a doctor. Good. Then is a dancer. Seventh one is a dancer. Then is a dancer. Eleventh one is a soldier. And twelfth one is a scientist. One by one, children. Very good. Very good. So I'm really impressed that you can you can see a photo, you can identify like a designer, the scientist, soldier, teacher, etc. This is really good. Now, I was thinking about what are the careers, you know, speaking to my wife, that's Dia's uh, mother. And she was like, uh, you know, there are so many new opportunities in the uh, in the age that we are in. Right. And a lot of things come to our mind. So nothing is right. Nothing is wrong. It is just a personal choice. It's something that we all aspire to do or we have an ambition to say, hey, that's something that I want to become. So are there anything else that comes to my, your mind, which I have not captured here as a career? Someone can go and tell me uh, some other profession or a career that's not here. Artist. Singer. Artist. What was that? Singer. Artist. Artist. Singer. Singer. Fantastic. A Athlete. Athlete, good. What else? A sport, a research and analysis. Okay, great. Marine Amazing. Biologist. Biologist, fantastic. Archaeologist. Okay. I'm looking for one particular career. Let's see if that comes up. Let's let's give two, uh, five more people chance who has not spoken out. Yes. And give me. Uh, sorry. Sports. Sports, okay. Second. Environment. Environment, okay. I mean, there are a few uh, companies that actually help to get other people with jobs, like. Right, like a headhunter. Great, headhunter yeah. or a HR. Yes. Fourth, anyone who has not spoken up. Okay, right. So the word that I was looking for a career is, you know, we all think about this, but have we thought about farmer as a career, right? Just imagine a world where there are no farmers, but everyone is a lawyer, doctor, designer, artist, musician, teacher, etc. Where are we going to get our food that sustains the life on this planet Earth, right? So it's so important. So that is why I put this slide in to say there's so many different things we can become. And that is where we need to explore, right? Even as a class of 20 of us, we were unable to uh, come out with all the career opportunities that are available. So you see how important it is to speak to people, understand their views, etc. So today, you know, I have come in front of you. Uh, so, you know, we had an introduction about me. Uh, so uh, do you know what I do? So that's where I said, let me share a little bit about my career. Do you know what I do for a living? Can you can some, someone see the photo and tell me what I do for a living? Um, uh, 
Because you shop? Yes, I shop. So did you ever think shopping could be a career? No. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me let me give you a little bit of, uh, so they don't call me a shopper. They call me a pr uh, procurement professional or a supply chain professional. So what does it mean, right? So first, where do I work? I work for an energy company. So the company I work is for, for Shell. You probably all no shell in some way or form because you along with your parents would have gone to a petrol station to pet, uh, fill up petrol or diesel right so it's energy that we pro provide for this planet so either in the form of hydrocarbons that's oil and gas or we are currently into renewables as well in terms of hydro uh, sorry uh, ele electricity generated from wind turbines or from solar so the picture that i have used there is just uh, uh, a picture of an offshore uh, floating vessel which we call an FPSO right and if you see that picture right it's a huge thing it's almost the size of two or three football pitches end to end right so it's such a huge thing and it requires so many different components and structural things to build that so engineers work on a plan, designers design it, you know, architects plan it, the vessel architects, we call it. And then you got to buy those components to bring them together, right? And that is exactly what I do. So I'm a mechanical engineer. I love being a mechanical engineer. So then how am I using that skill? You see, rather than be an engineer who are designing uh, mechanics or, or be on the technical side, I said I'm good at the commercial side. I can buy stuff which are required for my company at a great price, right? And I can source them all over the globe. So that is what I do. So these are some of the photographs when I go shopping, right? I go and speak to those manufacturers across the globe in terms of how they manufacture. I make sure the designs are suitable for us. You know, I have this great experience of meeting people. I travel a lot to a lot of countries. I've probably traveled to close to 20 countries uh, right now and meet different people, uh, understand different cultures and understand their perspectives, etc. And, you know, that is what gives me that motivation, the passion to get out of my bed every Every day it makes me happy right and it, it provides me with the money to bring up my daughter you know uh, and my family as well and I like to interact with people and in the one of the photos I interact with people on safety right why do you why do you need to have a helmet for example so these are important things in my career that I really value right and this is very very important so you know a pro procurement professional is nothing but a buyer and a buyer can be in the oil and gas industry or he could be in a food industry or he could be in a retail industry. So, for example, we all go uh, go to malls and buy branded clothes, non-branded stuff, etc. Right. So those companies that sell online or in their stores need to first buy those clothes or watches or shoes, etc from the manufacturers and then they'll have to sell right so if you're a buyer you could even get into that kind of profession right where you're buying luxury goods for example luxury watches for example right it could be anything if you're into an uh, a home construction like flats that we live in or apartments or villas we need to buy uh, tiles we need to buy cement we need to buy um, uh, taps fittings etc so that's what procurement is all about it could be in any field and it is very very uh, fulfilling career because you save money for the company you get the quality products on time at the right price basically and that is very fulfilling uh, for me any questions there Um, not now, not now, okay. So we still have 10 minutes. What I want to do is we'll now go to try to understand slightly difference between these two photographs. So there are two photographs, one on your left hand side, one on your right hand side. Can someone tell me what the left hand side photo is showing and what the right hand side photo uh. is showing? Yeah, they're telling the right-hand side photo, they're all working together to bring up their business, whereas in the left-hand side photo, there's a boss that's ordering them to take on the company forward. Yes, right, so really good. And try to give opportunity for other people who have not spoken up, okay? So, you're absolutely right. 
the left hand side is a boss or a manager who sits down and said you know you got to do this these are the targets you know go and get them and pays you for that the right hand side is slightly different he's still a boss but in a different way he's seen as a leader and he drives the people working for a particular organization with motivation right so what we're going to do is we're going to see some of the characteristics right and i want people to uh come off mute one by one someone who has already spoken give chance to others and can someone tell me uh if i uh, uh i'll start off by uh telling you one of the biggest difference right so the manager or the boss is the person who sets the targets and he will measure whether you have done that right i want you to do so and so by so and so time have you done it a leader works with that person inspires the individuals hey let's collectively do this rather than saying you go do that so this is one example any other examples of the differences between a manager a boss and a leader sir the leader this they're doing it all together mm -hmm. and then the manager manager is telling others to do it okay good what else anyone else more examples Yes, Shivat, you would go Yes. Um, usually in places or like in workplaces where the manager is like giving orders, people most likely feel that like they're not doing anything with their life and they feel very unmotivated, mm -hmm. while the leader makes people feel motivated and much more happier. Very good. Very good. What else? Uh, so um, like in the leader, a uh, leader has like. They have people who follow him, like they uh, they get inspired by him. Whereas Fantastic. in the manager, it's like he more like he has people who work for him. That's right. Very good. What else? I'll, I'm bringing up other things while we are speaking, and then we'll go through that. Yes. Someone say no copy follow right. So yeah, right. So let me bring all these up right so i think a lot of good uh, good observations that have come out from the team right so if you look at some of the qualities of a manager right these people are basically trying to ma maintain a status quo status quo is something that you just keep doing on without thinking about how can you improve it or how can you embrace change and bring in disturbances for example you know before iphone was invented uh, or brought in no one even thought that you could do everything on a phone for example right that's a leader who brings in the kind of a change or willing to bring in disturbance to the market managers simply try to copy or adopt their leadership styles but leaders are themselves they're unique they are authentic right and they try to be different you know one controls risk the other take risks one thinks on a short term whereas a leader think long term uh, and uh, you know one directs people to do so the other coaches people to find solution right so sometimes you probably heard about this uh, saying don't teach some uh, teach someone to catch a fish do not give them a fish so what it means is if they have a problem don't solve the problem uh, for them but but try uh, and help them how to find a solution by coaching them and motivating them. So these are the characteristics of a leader, right? Uh, so what we will do is, if time permitting, I want us to watch a video, right? I'm going to play a video on how you all can look at leadership and how you can improve your leadership skills, right? So let me play this video. I hope you can all hear it. Let me know if you can uh, hear this. How do I do it, dear? Yeah, sure. Yes, please. So you see, Dia is going to help me uh, with playing uh, the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some, some way or the other, they are also a teacher, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you see, and that's why the skills. You know, we all don't have everything. We absolutely, need. absolutely. There's everything to learn from everybody. I feel so. Illustrated by Sylvia Walker. Um. Sound, yeah. Just increase that sound, yeah. Now play it back. I am a leader, by David Parker, illustrated by Sylvia Walker. Did you ever say hello to someone new before they said hello to you? Did you ever? 
do your homework again because you knew you could do it better. Did you ever keep reading a book just because you like to read? Did you ever imagine a place where everyone was friendly and treated each other nicely? Did you ever say today is going to be the best day ever and make your friends feel that way too? They would help you in return. Did you ever find something and return it to its owner? <laughs> Did you ever see children who had no place to live and wonder why? Did you ever pick a piece of paper off the ground even though you did not throw it there. Did you ever hold the door for someone behind you? Did you ever play a game and say to the other team, nice going when you lost? Did you ever let someone else go first? You are well on your way to becoming a leader. Right. Name three things. So we all we all seen the uh, video, right? And one thing that I just wanted to raise there's the last one, the uh, the last but one said. Did you ever let other people go first? And you know, can you reflect to the interaction we had on this call today? And how many of you tried to say, hey, look, I had my chance, uh, I spoke up once, let me encourage others to speak and let's not speak continuously, right? So it's, don't worry, it's, you know, we all sometimes uh, don't realize it, but the key thing is when we realize it, taking an action next time so that we can all become a leader is a key thing, right? So what I request you is uh, the video, you can watch it through Google if you want to, but it's just a simple way of demonstrating how we can all improve ourselves. No one is perfect. Even I am not perfect, right? Uh, so we all need to work to become a leader. And those are the qualities when we are humble, when we recognize our mistake, when we put our hand up and say, I'm wrong, please go uh, first. These are the qualities we develop. And when we develop these qualities, we don't have to compete um, in a way that we do today, which raises uh, you know, friction between our colleagues uh, or tension, right? We can make this world a better place. So on that note, I'm just going to stop there and see if there are any questions from uh, any of you. No questions. So can I request something? Would you, if I request something, would you oblige? Yes, sir, please. Yes? Yep. So you saw that video, right? So one thing is on the last, I'm just going to share the slide, you know, take a book or a paper and, you know, name three things that you think make you a leader. Yes. What are the qualities within you? Okay. Write that down. And then uh, if Ananya ma'am uh, has time, maybe she can ask you to share what your qualities as a leader are in a different session, right? Think about that and then see, try to take one leadership quality that you think you are not that good at and you want to practice becoming good, okay? And you discuss among your friends, okay? And then you take that as an assignment, you know, once you finish your school, you're going to have two weeks uh, or uh, 10 days leave for Christmas and New Year. Maybe then, you know, you say, hmm, how do I practice that? How do I become better at this particular leadership quality? Okay, that's a request from my side. Okay, so I thank you there and I'm just going to pass it back uh, to Ananya, ma'am. Ma'am, back to you.
Thank you so much, sir. It was really motivational. Even I learned so many things. Even I didn't know about so many things. Um, so we are really obliged, sir, that you have taken that much of time from your busy schedule to give that much of time to us and to enlighten our path. Yes. Thank you, sir, so much for taking out our time, taking our time for the session from your very busy schedule. You have really boosted us, morale. Thank you. So we will Thank definitely will follow this, sir. In this MCT room class, we will definitely we, you will uh, list down three uh, important uh, leadership qualities that you have and the quality which you want to um, practice and improve. Practice or even to enrich more yes. in that uh, field. Okay. So we'll definitely will work out that uh, this one, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. Really very. Bye, easy. girls and boys. Bye. Take Bye, care. Sir. Bye, Thank Thank you, you, sir. Bye. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Thank you,